Good evening, everybody, and welcome uh, to this special event, Suruling um, Ayelet HaShachar Institutions. Um, it's a historical evening for the Ayelet Institutions. For the first time, we're having an evening, an evening dinner, and uh, we really hope everybody that came here will enjoy. I'm sure it's going to be an inspiring evening, and we hope we connect more and more people from the Greenwich Jewish community to, uh, to being partners with up and building up the Zionist and spiritual world in Eilat. Um, I would like to thank very much many people that were involved in uh, making this evening happening, mainly Rabbi Yassi Deren, Eli and Luane Yaakobi and their family, um, Sandy Oster, which is our guest speaker this evening, and uh, many, many other people who uh, made the effort to come this evening, and uh, I really hope they enjoy. Thank you very much. He understood that the key to our eternity is the Am Echad. He felt it was just Mifuzara Mifarad spread out across the world. He didn't understand what we all know. We can be spread out wherever we are, but that makes no difference to the Am Echad that we all feel for each other. The ocean doesn't separate us. It connects us by virtue of the fact that we all come from the same mother and father, the mothers and fathers of the people of Israel. The people here and the people in Israel is not really a separation at all. And those are the words of our beloved Steve Oster. He was a man, as we know, who represents so many beautiful things about Yiddishkeit. What he really represents in all of those things is the incredible passion that he brought, the deep love that he brought. And lighting candles on, on Friday night, maybe it's challah, maybe it's all of those things, but do something and it'll, one misfit will beget another misfit. So I say, God bless you. I hope to visit you next year, God willing. And I send my love. And one of the things that Stephen taught me, I, I, have a very, I have a very difficult life right now, but it's not because I'm mourning. My life is difficult because with each day that I live, I realize how generous of spirit and of love and of giving Stephen was. Give as much as you can, and maybe one day you'll be able to visit this wonderful place down in Elat. That's it. ‫דורים בבוקר עם הפגישים על הראש, ‫ואז שואל את עצמך, ‫בשביל מה הכול זה? ‫כי אבא נגמה שלי, ‫שחוויתי את המחלקה שלי מתפוררת, ‫והייתי צריך לקבל תשובה אמיתית, ‫א', למה שקרה, ‫בעת ההנחים שלי הולכים. ‫אז זה עם ישראל באמת. ‫צריך אנשים כאלה ‫שמאמינים בדרך שלהם ‫ולא נופלים. 
אתה מסתכל ככה על המזרח, ואתה אומר, וואו, יוצאים מהעולם הזה, נכנסים לאיזה אקסטאזה כזאת. אני מוכן לנסוע לפה שמונה שעות בשביל להגיע לפה לימוד של לימוד. דווקא פה אני יכול למצוא את השקט הנפשי שלי, ללמוד התורה בצורה הכי עמוקה, הכי אמיתית שיש. We started fear and, and distress started creeping in. I was fortunate to be led by a courageous man who was a raw example of how to live your life, how to be courageous. He had extremely bad moments and tough moments, knowing that he lost so many of his, what he called this, us, his children or his kids. But his example of self-sacrifice is something that never left me. The, my absolute honor to introduce my good friend and educator, the manager of Violet Ashachar, Aaron Ackerman. My name is Aaron Ackerman, and I am the Deputy Director of the Ayelet HaShachar Institutions. Over the past few years, I've had the privilege of heading one of the most crucial enterprises in Eilat, an enterprise which is named Ayelet HaShachar. More than 2,000 meals are served every month by the Chaz de Yehuda soup kitchen. Hundreds of teenagers have been through the pre-army preparation courses given by the Keshet Yonatan project, which is in memory of Yonatan Einarin, you saw in the movie. Dozens of couples have received counseling, particularly for free, practically for free, at the Noam Family Center. More than 100 teenagers come regularly to the club for youth at risk that we've set up. In the Ayelet HaShachar Yeshiva, there are more than 120 boys sitting and learning and the spirit that moved Uriel and Eliraz Peretz, brothers of Avichai, is the same spirit that motivates those students every day. It pushes them to learn, to inquire, to probe deeply, and in the end, it also moves them forward on the battlefield. It's in Hebrew, the blessing for La Rav Yossi Deren. Thank you very much for your great donation for the world of Torah and Elat. Thank you very much, everyone. Dear Sandy, our heartfelt thanks for maintaining the faith and support for Torah and Zionism in a lot shown by Steve. Alava Shalom. We are extremely appreciative of the Ayelat HaShachar Institutions. Ellie and Luane, your home has become my second home here in the United States. You've opened the door for me to this wonderful community, the Jews of Greenwich, out of real concern for our advancement and growth of the Yerat HaShachar institutions in Eilat. Ellie and Luane, many, many thanks. The evening of 7 Kislev, November 24, 1998. 16 years ago was not a night like all the other nights. It was 2.30 in the morning. I was sleeping in our home in Givat Ze'ev near Jerusalem. I was 13 and a half years old at the time. It was my first meeting with the death. And since then, my entire life is mixed with pain, happiness, wishing fate, and great hope. Today, she stands next to the photos of her father and say, Grandma, this is my father. I love him. Moments such as that bring us great joy. I also learn from Chazal, the Saj, that in order to feel close to God, you must be joyful. On your table, you have pledges. I know some of you have already filled your pledges and have done it. But the only thing we ask you is to open your heart and to express, really, thankfulness. I feel so obligated to these people that, that I mean, I, I really wasn't aware of the fact that when I child go to a high school today, right, there's somebody who prevents this from happening. I know in Israel I have to be aware of it, but here, so we ask you to open your heart and, and uh, do whatever you feel is right. Thank you so much all for uh, coming here.